somewhere in a dark office during midnight there's a programmer typing at the keys frantically worried that AI is out to get him worried that AI is out to get his job Well, not really. Even though Copilot appears to be setting you up for faster development, the code it produces will set you back. Let me tell you how. First, we need to know what is Copilot. To put it simply, it's an AI pair programmer. So while you're typing out your code and making comments to describe a function, it will give you suggestions for whole lines or entire functions inside the code editor. You can even cycle through multiple suggestions. I can do this all day, open AI. It's not working. Oh, I see, you can do it this way too. I guess that's cool. This whole feature is available on Visual Studio Code Editor, which was built as a collaboration with OpenAI and GitHub. Of course, you need a GitHub account in order to access this extension. Create a GitHub account so you can get your hands on it. But just as the name suggests, it is a code pilot, which means you're piloting the ship of code at the end of the day and you're telling it where it needs to go. So you will always be in charge. And moreover, you would think this is just an over-glorified autocomplete. But no, my friend, it's much more than that. It starts to learn the context of your code to better understand how to assist you in recommending quote, quote, safe and effective code as you use it, all right? So we know this is a AI machine learning system. So usually with AI machine learning system, we wanna know exactly how this particular system was trained. So let's look into that a little bit. So according to the Copilot GitHub website, Copilot is powered by Codex, which is an AI system created by OpenAI. It was trained on over a billion lines of public code. GitHub puts the knowledge to your fingertips, saving you time and helping you stay focused. As I mentioned before, this is the data set that was made available by GitHub. So all the public repositories on GitHub was made available to train Copilot in order to be the great suggester as it is today. I'm pretty sure there's more in training this AI system, but I'm gonna to touch that on another day. But this is the basis of how this system was trained. And so from what I know, what I've read on data sets and you know, data that is training machine learning systems, data is so important. If your system has really good data set, it can be very helpful for your computer for analytical and prediction purposes. However, if that data set is entirely inclusive or exclusive, that system can run in unpredictable rogue ways. That's why there's a lot of topics on inclusive machine learning, such as this article, where it discusses what is inclusive machine learning and just pretty much goes over the fairness of machine learning and what it aims to. So it's just saying that it could be very prejudiced against you know, race, income, sexual orientation, and so on. But is there such thing as too inclusive? I'm going to touch on a statement that I mentioned earlier, safe and effective code. Let's hone in on the word safe. Generally to be safe means to be secure, but how can Copilot suggest safe code when it's trained on inherently insecure, not so best practice, buggy public code? What do I mean by that? According to a Cornell research study, Copilot can steer you into dangerous waters. The most important part of the research study it focused on was its propensity for generating code that is susceptible for each of the weaknesses found in CWE Top 25. What CWE stands for? CWE stands for Common Weakness Enumeration. Foremost, the reason why these Top 25 weaknesses are dangerous is that they are often easy to find, exploit, and can allow adversaries to completely take over systems, steal data, or prevent an application from working. So during the study, after 89 different scenarios for Copilot to complete, which produced 1,692 programs, they found approximately 40% of the time the code will be vulnerable. And you would think that would be the end of it. No, there's more. 
There have been questions on the legality of using public code to train AI system. Free Software Foundation goes to say it is unacceptable and unjust. They go as far as to say they will provide monetary reward for $500 back in August for any white papers published by them on particular topics. The topics they would have paid and published for are the following. Is Copilot's training on public repository infringing copyright? Is it fair use? Another one says if Copilot generates code which does give raise to a violation of free software licensed work, how can this be discovered by the copyright holder? And the list goes on. It appears GitHub is aware of this because they stated this. This is a new space and we are keen to engage in a discussion with developers on these topics and lead the industry in setting appropriate standards for training AI models. To answer the fairness of use question, GitHub states, training machine learning models on public available data is considered fair use across the machine learning community. Not exactly sure how much that holds up, but free uh, software foundation, you know, run me my money because I found the answer to your question. The biggest question is, what does this mean for software engineers and software developers? In short, you still have a job. Even though human judgment can be flaky at times, AI and machine learning systems do not have the data set to exclude or exclude code on certain situations. GitHub even mentioned that it's not perfect. And in some cases, it will actually produce code that would not compile or run. It just goes to show that you just need a human touch in regards to AI and machine learning systems. And also from my standpoint, software engineers and developers don't code 24 seven. And I would say I approximately spend roughly around five to 10% of the week actually coding. Most of the time I spend with clients and stakeholders and having a discussion on what are their needs or goals in a particular feature or process they need for an application or system. So in conclusion, unless the Copilot team figures a way out on how to train Copilot on the best and latest security practice, there will still be underlying issues when using this for your development team for commercial use. So just as Tesla drivers have to be reminded, keep your hands on the wheel as Autopilot is active. So if you liked that video, make sure you get that like and subscribe and you know, share this with a friend if you thought it was very enjoyable and informative. So until next time, peace. Mm -hmm.